how many times am I going to do this before it gets old? Um, hey there, Obi here. Alright, today I wanted to talk about how to create your own server. Now, I've already done this process, so I can't. But if you're on Quest, you would just come here and you would click the button. If you're on PC, you're going to need Supporter. And I've talked about Supporter in another video. Now, I know that you are probably already gotten to this step, and that's not what we're here for. We're here to learn how to make a successful server. I get this question a lot, and I always tell people the same thing, that I am not going to help you with your server. But this video is to help you out. Before we get started, I do need to give you a disclaimer, okay? Being the owner of a server is like being the general manager of a store. It means that you should know how to do every level of the job required for a server. So, not only are you like an admin, but you are the head admin. Uh, not only are you a welcoming person, but you're, you're, the, you're the face of the server. You're there to welcome people and help people out because you know how to play the game and you know the mechanics of the game and things like that. Before you start your own server, you should understand that this is like a full-time responsibility. This is not something that you can do for a couple of weeks and get tired of it. You should know the basics of the game. You should know the basics of commands. Now, I've done a video about the basics of commands. I suggest you watch that and learn commands. Uh, Hazy has made a wonderful tutorial as well. Follow that. You're going to want to know those two things before we do anything else. Once you know those things, then you can start looking into bots. Because you're going to need commands to work with bots. Every bot has its own Discord. You're going to ask your questions there. Every Discord, uh, every bot Discord will have some kind of getting started guide or manual that you can follow step by step to get it set up on your server. It is not my job or the bot creator's job or the helper's job to set it up for you. That is your job. If you don't know commands and you don't know how to set up a bot, then you probably shouldn't be running a server. I'm going to be quite honest with you right there on that, okay? So, where do we get started? Well, it's not really here. It's really about an idea. So, you need basically the idea of a server name. Um, and I know from the beginning everybody wants to like really get started with the game, but you don't start there yet. If I were you, once you have the basic understanding of the game, you know how to do commands, you know how to install bots, you really need to start with a Discord. Now, I set one up in just a few minutes, and I would su suggest that you kind of do the same thing. Your Discord does not need to be anything complex. But I would start that before I would start anything else. And so what I would do is I would have a few channels for welcome, announcements, the rules. Getting rules set up is very, very important. Now, if you don't know what your rules should be for you or your admins, I have a list of rules that I will let you use. They are not the rules of Starlight. I have never given anybody permission to use the rules of Starlight, but I have seen people rip them off plenty of times and never give me credit. So, if you want a list of rules that you can use uh, for the server and for the admins, I just, just DM me and I'll give them to you. And I'm going to tell you this, if you're going to use any of them, I, I ask for credit. That's all I ask. I, I want you to say that Obi-Wan Kirogi uh, wrote these rules or something like that. Uh, I just want some credit. I, I, I don't think that's, that's unfair to ask. <laughs> so, alright. Um, so, you have your rules channel. 
uh, you'll have a channel for like general stuff to so people uh, can chat. Maybe a memes channel, um, a place where people can uh, can can post images of the game, a bots channel, and then uh, some kind of staff channel. Now, in the beginning of your server, I wouldn't recommend having staff or too many staff. Really, like you and like one other person is fine, but but this idea of you and like three co-owners is ridiculous. I don't know why people do this. You are the owner. You own this. And your friend could be an admin, but your friend needs to know commands and needs to know all this other stuff too if they're going to help you out. All right. So the Discord is now set up. Um, you're going to start uh, setting up roles like uh, owner, admin, keep it very, very basic. You can always add to it later. Um, and then you can, you can set up the permissions and the channels and things like that right away. And so we're doing all of this before we have this game server set up. So once we have the Discord set up, once we have the role set up, then you can think about the game server. Now... What do you want the economy to be like? Do you want it to be a player-based economy where everything is based on the materials and the coins they find? Um, in the past, I've, I've, I've had a little bit of success with uh, two other servers where um, we, we, the economy was based on players picking up sticks, for example. Uh, they'd put four sticks, put their hands together, and then they'd get like they'd get like four coins or they'd run around they'd pick up uh bones or feathers they pick up random mundane um yeah random mundane items throughout the server uh that are basically trash they put them in their hot bar they put their hands together and then they'd get coins for it and then from there you can have a pretty good idea of the economy so like, then you could say, oh, I, I want to sell uh, copper ingots. I want to sell silver ingots. Okay, how much is that going to be? How much is that going to be if, if the players are getting the coins this way? So you need to think of an economy. The other thing, too, is when you think of an idea for a server, try to be unique. Don't copy other servers. Um... I don't know how many One Piece related servers there are with working fruits. I don't know how many JJK servers there are, but there's a lot. Okay? Um, try to be unique. <laughs> so, and don't be complicated. The more complicated you are with, with things like uh, alchemy and, and whatever, or if your whole server is based around alchemy, you might have some trouble when alchemy isn't working. Uh, so, keep that in mind. The other thing is, you know, this is now the time to set up your Zesty Shop if you want to have a Zesty Shop. Uh, Starlight, my main server, we basically have tried to get away from admins selling uh, because the players have 24-7 access to Zesty. They don't really need us. Um, so, you know, try to make it so that the players have access to these things early on. All right, so we've got our Discord set up. We have a pretty good idea of the game, and then we have an economy. Now, when you join a fresh server, do you want your players to also join a fresh server that needs to be set up? Uh, I would, I would say, like in the beginning, it's a good idea. Uh, there's nothing wrong with letting people uh, help you. I've never seen a stone under the ground like that. Um, help you get it all set up it, it builds camaraderie you know it builds friendships not only that you can kind of get an idea of the people that you're playing with so if you want staff i would find people who are active i'd find people who do not at all ask about admin don't like people who ask about it often or say they want to be admin usually aren't the right pick the people who want it the least or the people who don't really care 
one way or the other, but they want to play the game and they want to be welcoming and helpful, those are the people to look out for. So, I would say play the game normally with, with no staff or maybe one staff member in the beginning and see who is active, see who is genuinely helpful. They're not doing it to impress you. Uh, have a way for people to uh, report problems and, and see if they're reporting it the right way. Uh, that, that really helps. So I have a vanilla server called Stardust. It's, it's dead. Um, and Hoarder was my first or only moderator on that server. And the reason that he became uh, a moderator was because he was very active. He was very helpful. Uh, and anytime there was a problem, he recorded it. He gave me the names of the people. He gave me a summary of what, what happened. He wasn't problematic. He was somebody that I knew I could count on and trust to do the job. And, and that was it. And like I said, we have rules, and he followed those rules for the admin. Uh, so that's something that I would that I would recommend is just kind of keep an eye out for people that way, and see who you think could be a good fit for your server. So uh, once you have that out of the way, I'm going to leave the server now. Once you have that out of the way, we're going to need to figure out. Uh, how to promote your server and this is the hardest part so if we look at my 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 board right here we can see that uh, these servers are pretty active um, I've talked about playtest before if you're a supporter you can check that out um, so I don't know if you've ever paid attention but if you ever look at the plus sign like if it's see like it's red and these are like a yellowish color. I don't know why they're yellow here. Uh, this one's orange. Um, let's go to let's go to discover servers. What you'll notice about every server here is every server here has a green plus sign. And all of them have at least four players online right now. Now I'm not sure if it's three or four. I know that in the past it was it was stated as four, but I've noticed and I've noticed in the last week or so that it's 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 like three or more. But you need let's just say four people or more. Um, look, see there there's my my server. Uh, it's got a green got a green plus on it. All right, so to to be on Discovery, you need to you need to have at least four people online. Um, now, how do we get people? One way is to go into tutorial. So let's just do this real quick. Um, we'll join in rather quickly. I'm going to mute myself so nobody can hear me. All right, nobody can hear me. All right, so we're in the tutorial. So what are we doing? What are we looking for? You're going around and you're looking for people's names. And one thing that you can do is you can in the beginning oh no way is that actually you for real yeah that's actually me hello <laughs> dude i love your videos <laughs> i appreciate that thanks all right anyway so what you're gonna do is you're gonna w walk around and you're gonna look at people's names um and you're gonna type their Hi. name as like you're, you're gonna you're gonna invite them let me there we go you're gonna invite these people to your server now you can just straight up do that. You can just type into uh, into Tavern their names and invite them that way, or you can walk around and ask them if they need help, and you can explain to them that you have a server, and it's a new server, and that you need people to join it. If I were you, I wouldn't give things away for free. I would just like help them learn how to play the game. So like when you when you when they join and they try to make a bag, they don't really understand that that means ten and and that this is the the number. Like, tell them, hey, I've got a server. I'm going to help you out. Here, let's be friends. And then tell them the name of your server, and you're going to invite them. So that's this is the best way to get people to join. And once you have at least four people uh, on at the same time, more and more people will start joining.
And since you already have a Discord, they have a place that they can go and they can hang out. So, what is the wrong way to promote your server? The wrong way of promoting your server is going into any of these servers here and telling people to join your server. Don't do that. Please don't do that. You would, you would hate it if somebody did that on your server. So don't do it. Don't even ask. Just assume that going into these servers and telling people about your server is wrong. Like promoting in another server is wrong. Just don't do it, okay? Um, the other way that is wrong is going into ATT's discords, like the ATT discord, uh, just like the main general channel and say, hey, join my server. Like that's annoying. Don't do that. Or going into bot discords and say, hey, I need admins or something like that. Please join my server. Or, hey, I need help. No, don't do that. The best way to, to, to get people to join is going into tutorial. That's, the, that's one way. The second is on the ATT Discord. Going there, and there, is, there are channels dedicated for PC and Quest to promote your server. Pay attention to the rules. You can only do it once every two weeks. If you delete it and try to do it again, you will get caught and they will suspend your account. Just be patient. Starting a server from scratch is really hard. It's one of the hardest things about a server is getting it started. So, I really, really hope that I've gotten everything clear to you guys that... You need to have an understanding of the game, an understanding of, of, of commands, uh, get a Discord set up, get your bot set up, have an idea. And then after all that's said and done, then try to get people to join your server. And let people join, build stuff together. If you give too much stuff away free in the beginning, uh, then there's nothing they can work forward to. Especially if they're new. They've never experienced these things. So let people experience it. And that's the other thing is people think, Ooh, no, 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 I don't want new pit players. Yes, you do. New players don't have a home. Your server can be their new and first home. So, anyway. I really hope that, that helps you guys out. I hope that gives you some, some ideas. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, leave them below. And I guess that's it for now. So, until next time, see ya.